Hello everyone, myself Rahul. Welcome to the channel. Today we'll be discussing about Argo CD, primarily focusing about Argo CD Vault plugin. I have a other video which I'll put a link in a description where I have talked about installing Argo CD and, and configuring Argo CD Vault plugin using one of the method which is known as Vault Token. But Vault Token is actually primarily used for the admin purpose. Here we are talking about integrating with the application. So there are other methods which we will be exploring such as app roles and Kubernetes authentication. So your time is valuable. Without a further ado, let's deep dive in. So just a quick introduction about Argo CD Vault plugin. This is basically Argo CD doesn't have a vault in build. You can have a, a HasiCorp vault for your secret management, or you can have other vault as well, such as AWS secret manager, or if you are in GCP or Azure, those varies as well. Or you can have some third parties just such as LastPass or Keeper secret management as well. So as part of this video, we are focusing on Argo CD plus HasiCorp Vault. Like I mentioned, there is a, another video where for which I have a link in a description as well. We have talked about integrating HasiCorp Vault using Vault token authentication. But as part of this video, we'll be talking about app role authentication and as well as Kubernetes authentication. So let's look into app role authentication. I have already installed a vault, which I'm running in a Kubernetes cluster. There are documents here in this repository, which you can find. And I also have the Argo CD running here, where we will be deploying an application after we will authenticate our vault plugin. So as part of this, we'll authenticate using app role. And for those, we need the vault address and HTTP address. The ABP type is going to be vault, the auth type is going to be app role, whereas for token, it was it was basically a token, and then you were passing a token. But here we will need a role ID, so we need to generate a role ID, and we need a secret ID. The documentation for this is actually in, in here, how you can create the app role authentication method. So what we are going to do is we are going to enable an app role. We are going to create a named role, which is we are going to call Argo CD AVP. We'll attach a policy and we will generate a role ID and we will issue secret ID. That's what we are going to do. And Vault is basically running right over here. I have Argo CD as well as running. So right now there are no plugins associated, but we are going to associate a plugin. So first and foremost thing, what I have here is a sample deployment. And let me show you what exactly I have here in the sam sample deployment. So there is a deployment.yaml file, which is basically just deploying Nginx, but it is looking for a secret and the config map from DB config as a config map and DB secret as a secret. And there are files respectively for config map as well as for secrets. So as you have seen how the AVP or Argo CD world plugin works, it basically works on in terms of annotations. So we are going to get a secrets out of this um, so let's do that as a first step. So I'm going to name it as Argo and underneath that I will create a secret which is going to be which is going to be Aurora RDS and I will just do username and uh, I will do password. I'm basically calling my username as admin just to show you here and password as my password. So here is the path and you can see this is the same path what we have in our deployment which is argo data and aurora rds so that's that's the path which is which we have here so another thing if you come here and if you look for authentication method so we by default have authentication method which is token enabled but what we are going to do is we are going to enable this app role and 
Um, most of the things with App Pro, like attaching policies and uh, creating the secret ID and the role ID, you cannot do using UI, user interface. So you have to use the CLI method for that. So I have a couple of steps which I have also given in README file. So I'm going to shell into my vault port where I have already the vault CLI configured. And I will just uh, click on vault auth enable app role. So it basically says the app role is enabled. You, you can come here to the vault and you can look into the methods of authentication, which you can see now app role is enabled. So let's go back and let's run other CLI commands here, which, so this is, the CLI is what it is doing, create a name role. And here you can see Argo CD AVP is enabled. The next is create and attach a policy. So I have a sample policy. What I'm saying is my Argo CD AVP named role is going to have read and the list access to any secret which are under Argo CD, but feel free to change it. So I'm just creating this because policies I can manage using the UI. So I'm just creating it using UI. So there is a default policy by default, but you can create right over here and I can name it uh, Argo AVP policy, which is what I'm creating. And the next part is we have to associate this policy with our role. So here is a CLI for that. So now I have associated this. So now as you see, there are no policies associated with that. So we are going to associate a policy with our role, which is what we can do using this CLI. So instead of read, we can do write, or write or tap role policies, and we can give policies equals to what we have created which is Argo CD AVP policy. Uh, so we can run the CLI here. And now the policies, just to see the policies, you can just look into that and you can see the policies are now associated. So let's move to the next step where we have to create our role ID. So uh, we, we got the role ID and we have to create a secret ID which is we got here. So let's make a note of these. So I'm just putting in the same documentation here, not going to publish that, but just putting it right over here, the secret ID and yep. So now we got, so let's go back to the documentation. We were already having our vault address where we are running the vault. We already know the type is vault, the auth type we are using app role. We got the role ID and we got the secret ID. So let's go back to our Argo CD installation and right over here, the Argo CD installation is this file, which you will find the link in the description of this video. But the plugin is basically what we have. So we have address, we have type, we have auth type. So we need a role ID, which we already got. So I'm just putting my role ID over here and I'm just putting the secret ID over here. And uh, what I will do is I will run my Terraform code. So let's wait for this to be completed. It's probably going to take a minute or two. All right, so this is done. Just to have a look like how it is, basically you can list out this credential and just find the value. So kubectl get secret ABP, you can do hyphen O YAML and you can go to Argo CD as a namespace. And here you can see you got your AVP role ID, which is uh, base 64 encoded. You have your secret ID I and mean, you can just to validate, you can also do B64 decode in the CLI and you can see it exactly matches the value which we have given ends with F5 and you can do the similar thing for the secret ID which we are not really validating right now. So now as our application is deployed, we'll re-log into Argo CD and we'll create a sample application. So I'm just calling sample ABP app role and I'm just deploying in our default namespace so is putting sync policies that are automatic and I am basically using my repository URL to deploy this. I will just use HTTPS as it is public. I'm going to provide a path so my configurations are actually in this. So I will just copy the path and put it right over here and the destination is going to be in cluster. The namespace I'm choosing by default and I will just use AVP customize. So it looks like there is an error. So maybe I probably have to restart my repo server. So let me just do it in a minute here. 
So now you can see the application is deployed. We don't care about the Nginx running, uh, but what we care about the DB username and the password. So let's let's go back to kubectl CLI and let's try to list our secret. Uh, and here you can see uh, your username and your password are basically coming over here. If you would like to just validate, you can do the similar kind of thing. Just decode into base64 and you can see it is admin over here and you can do the similar kind of thing for your password which should be password by default. If you are using K9 you can just de decrypt right using K9 as well and here you can see it's a password. So this is how you can integrate your Argo CD with the uh, Appro. One thing is I just want to highlight here as we created our backend like Appro and Appro token as a secret you don't have to do everything using CLI. What you can can do is you can use if you're using Terraform or OpenTopu, you can use uh, Terraform resources, provide its provider, which you can actually utilize, and then you can create the backend, different type of backends. As you can see for app role, there is an auth backend login role and the secret ID, and you can generate those and you can maybe keep those in AWS Secret Manager or your own choice of Secret Manager and utilize in your Argo CD. Another thing which I mentioned, so this is one of the method of authentication. So we have covered app role in the previous video. We already have covered the bold token authentication github i'm not covering right now here for the kubernetes authentication one thing is when you deploy argo cd you basically either create your own service account or you utilize the service account so if you look into our deployment for go cd here so we have argo cd where we are giving the values from argo.yaml so what we have in argo.yaml is in in the repo server we already have set auto mount service account token to true and the service account is by default is getting created so this is this is step is already covered in our scenario here which basically covers this one as well and then i'm basically using eks so my host is the eks cluster address basically which is which should be accessible on port 443 from your vault and then you can basically uh, create your uh, named role just like how we created a named role for our app role basically and then you can pass on this uh, authentication uh, jwt here is looks like optional i've not tried it but it looks pretty much as simple like how it is and then you can have secret data database basically just like the the annotations examples are given the inline also you can give in case you are getting secrets from different resources as well so that's the another way of authenticating it as well i hope this was useful thanks a lot for watching the video i hope i will see you in the future session thank you